What's going on, boys? Welcome to, uh, Black Ops 1 Zombies, I guess. And, uh, you know, I just, just downloaded the game. And I don't even have half the DLC. But I got the final pack, which has, you know, all the World at War maps, plus Moon. And, uh, you know, you saw the video title. You know what's happening. <laughs> we are going to be playing Moon until we see the astronaut. And then we are going to, the video is going to stop. So, here's the thing. I know that the astronaut spawns, oh, the mouse sensitivity is ridiculous. Hold up. All right, boys. This mouse sensitivity is really strange, but we're just going to have kind of have to deal with it. And, um, I'm trying to decide if we should go for the sauce and, um, try to get Jug. To be completely honest with you, probably not. Simply because this is my first time playing Moon in an unbelievably long time. And I already died. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna be a trip. Alright boys, right, right into attempt two. We are gonna give it a shot. I'm not too worried about Jug because, um, you know, Boys, if we might not even get past area, area 51 in order to make it to where the astronaut even is. Alright boys, you know what? Um, third game. We're gonna not go for any shenanigans, kill a couple zombies, and just go straight to the moon. Because I think that's about all we're gonna be able to do. Alright boys. We're kinda just gonna head out. And uh, yeah. So we need to get out of here real fast, otherwise the astronaut is going to, um, is going to, because the astronaut spawns in there, so we need to kind of head out, like, really fast. So I think that the astronaut's going to spawn in the starting room there. And, um, we're just going to try to avoid him as much as possible. And to be completely honest with you, it's been so long since I played Moon that I really just don't even know what's gonna happen. I was never much for Black Ops 1 Moon, really never much for any for Black Ops 1 at all to be honest, but you know now that I have a more more experience with with the game I wanted to um give Black Ops more of a fair shot and um yeah so re redownloaded it. We're playing Moon and this seems to be the whole round. And I, I'm i scared to look. Because I feel like the astronaut's going to come out somewhere. And I don't, don't know where the last zombie is. Maybe I'll, just, maybe I'll just go through a door. Maybe I'll just head out. And just stay away. Do I go through this side? I don't... I know where I'm going. Ish. But it's been so long that I really kind of don't. To be honest with you. We got the PM-63, which is just a wonderful gun. Because we need to be progressing through the rounds and getting points so that we can keep moving through the map. Because if we stay in one place for too long, you know what's going to happen. So we should probably buy the... I really don't want to buy the PM-63 because it's garbage. But like, I mean, that's kind of just how Black Ops 1 goes, right? You kind of just have to use garbage sometimes. Alright, that's around you. I think we're going to open this door. Hopefully there will be something better through here. Literally claymores, okay. So we're gonna need to, I might need to go out and buy the M14. I think I need to do that. I swear if I go back and editing this video and see that I actually did see the astronaut at one point and didn't realize it, I'm gonna be kind of upset. Oh my lord. That's the end of the game. <sighs> that was so much labor just to die on round three. All right, well, you know what? Those first three games were just practice. Now we are fully warmed up. Fully warmed up. We got we got a hang of the move, the controls. We got a hang of what's going on. We are ready for this. Guys, we are going for all of the sauce right now. We might have to use some grenades. Oh, boys, this is skilled gameplay.
Oh my gosh. You just love to see that. Okay. Okay, boys, 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 boys. We might have just done it. Jug on round one. Get me out of here. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. I need to... Knife a zombie. Or... Oh my gosh. Get over here, get over here. Oh, boys, boys, boys. Okay. No astronaut, no astronaut. Give me... Oh, it's 750. That's bad. All right, we'll come back for a quick revive later. Get me out of here. Oh my gosh. <sighs> intense gameplay. Oh my god. This is... This is literally some of the most intense gameplay <laughs> I've done. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's getting a little bit nutty. Now boys, even if I have died three times, nobody ever said that the video ended if I died. So, I still have not seen the astronaut. And what I was what I was saying earlier is um if I go back and post and see that he the astronaut was on my screen at one point I just didn't notice. I'm sorry. I promise I'll be honest with whether or not I see him. But I'm guessing that when I do, it'll be pretty obvious. So, I should probably buy the M14. Because I don't know what wall buys are where. And like, you know. Who knows? Just, boys, the gravity on Moon is so goofy. Like, I'm not even jumping, and I'm just floating everywhere. I mean, it's kind of funny because the zombies fly up, but, like, it's also kind of annoying. <laughs> Hopefully we don't even get that far. I'm pretty sure that this is the preferred side to go on on Moon, but I really just couldn't tell you. We just, we need the zombies to come through fast because I need to be progressing through these rounds and getting through the rooms and not staying in the same spot. Oh my gosh, that was so slow. That, that, that door is 1k. Boys, I'm stressed out. I am legitimately stressed out. Genuinely scare, scarier than any horror game I've ever played in my life. We're almost there. 